Hey everyone, this is Mike Matese. Um, I want to introduce you to one of my former uh, mentored students, uh, Quinnon. How you doing, Quinnon? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. It's good to hear your voice again. It's been a little while. Same here. Yeah. So today, um, I want to share all with you uh, Quinnon's uh, success story. Uh, you got in touch with me uh, when you were still in the high school, right, from what I recall? Yeah, it was in my senior year of high school. Senior year of high school. And you went to an, uh, from what I remember, it was like an art-driven high school. Yeah. All right. Um, how, so you were there all four years at that school? Um, it was more of an after-school program. So I, I was only able to go from my sophomore year and all the way up to my senior year. I see. Yeah. And I, I guess at that point, you already knew that, or did you know that you were thinking about a career in art? Yeah, I think I've always known, like it's changed over the course of my high school life, but for the most part, it was always into art. Mm -hmm. And then how did you, um, how did you come across mentorship? Um, I was just browsing the internet and it was during a time when I wasn't sure what I wanted to do exactly with art. Mm -hmm. And your website happened to have like an advertisement pop up oh, I where it specifically talked about mentorship. I so I on it to check it out. And I, I knew of your books because I actually have one of your books at the time. I see. So it was pretty cool that you were also doing mentorship and seeing like your mentorship page, like what you're about and what you offer. I decided to reach out and do the trial and see if like it was suitable for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome, right? I, you know, you were one of the first, um, like, younger students that I had, you know, that came to me and said, uh, look, I really want to get into one of the top art schools in the country. Um, mm -hmm. And you were thinking about a bunch of them um, at the time. And I know there were even some breaks we had in mentorship, you know, there were runs of, um, like, eight or nine months, and then a couple of months off, and then returning and getting back to it until all of a sudden, I think you had already graduated high school from what I recall, and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm ready now. I need to buckle down and get a portfolio put together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna share with you guys today um, while we're talking here is, um, I'm just gonna go through uh, the work that Quinnon sent to me um, initially, right? Which is what we're looking at here. This was some of your older work from high school, right? Yeah. And then, uh, and then we'll take a look at uh, the portfolio that she sent out to uh, one of the art schools she wanted to get into, which we'll reveal in a minute, um, and how that ended up working out, right? So uh, while I'm looking through this, let's kind of talk about mentorship. And I, I'd like to be able to share with the audience for those that are kind of curious what mentorship's like, like what was that like for you? Um, you know, how did it work? Um, or what did work, what didn't work? Um, yeah. Mm, so I think that for the most part, mentorship was one of the best things I could have done to further my art career or make it more possible. I think that compared to what I learned at art school, I learned a lot of really essential things, not just about art, mm -hmm. but I felt that it was things that I could apply to outside my life too. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I saw immediate change with my art and so did my teachers. Like I started getting a lot of comments about it. Mm -hmm. And I think what I really took from mentorship was that not only did I improve very drastically and it got me to where I am today, but I feel like it also helped me become more creative mm -hmm. and think outside the box and also apply it to other areas of my life. Mm -hmm. And I also felt that particularly with my high school, um, it was a bit hard for me to do art because a lot of the teachers wouldn't listen. So I felt like with, with you, I had a safe space of telling you if I had problems or like you were, you were very open about my questions with art or if I had concerns or if I wanted to explore something more. And I always felt encouraged and I always felt like there wasn't really like the same judgment I had from high school. Mm -hmm. So it really nurtured a good like environment for me to learn and grow as an artist. Oh, that's really awesome. Thank you for saying that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that really means a lot to me. I think, you know, most people that come to mentorship are there because they want to learn force, right? Yeah. Um, and that's fine. And that's great. That's what I'm here for. Uh, but 
there's quite a few people that I mentor where it goes way beyond that, you know, and it's not like my goal for your portfolio was to create a force portfolio, you know, and that's, that alone isn't enough to get into one of the schools. It'll teach you how to draw well, but you needed a much more well-rounded portfolio to get into the college that you wanted to get into, you know? I mean, you can see obviously the influence of force and some of these drawings of getting like fluidity and movement into the work. But so this is now the portfolio. And, uh, you know, you can see how um, these aren't all very specifically like, you know, forceful lines, <laughs> you know, right. I think the bigger ideas are underneath there, you know, trying to make sure they're, uh, they're working and they're doing their thing. But, you know, we put in work like this a lot. You put in a lot of mixed media stuff as well, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you and I over time, um, you know, we worked a lot on perspective, a lot, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would say one of your biggest weaknesses when we met was understanding perspective and structure. And, uh, and as you all today will see in Quinon's portfolio here and in the sketchbook por portion of the portfolio, uh, a lot of effort was put into that. So one thing I wanted to mention is what's interesting is this is a piece that you brought to me when you were in high school, and it actually did make its way all the way into this portfolio. It is actually an excellent piece. You know, it's the contrast of all of this detail versus the openness on the top and in the bottom, and then the break in this line, um, you know, with the, the, this plant. Um, it's very well designed and very well drawn. And one thing I think you always had was an attention to detail. You know, you have a very good eye, you know. Thank you. Yeah. So if, you, if everyone knows about my eyeball brain hand equation, to me, you came over with a good eye. Like you always had a, a clear sense of humility of looking at the world and just saying, okay, I just want to try and see this, right? Mm -hmm. So but what, I, what I realized in teaching you was, okay, but the skill part's not there, right? Which will help you see even more. And perspective, of course, is one of those big skills, right? And man, your brain just wanted to keep lying over perspective. You know, it was like kept skewing the floor planes. You wouldn't know that looking at this drawing right now because look at how good the perspective is. But man, it was, it was a long ride on the perspective train and you finally like broke through and made it. And we're going to show, I just want to show some of the, I want everyone watching to remember this stuff, right? Like this is kind of where you were uh, in high school when we first met. Mm -hmm. And then when we look at the perspective work that'll be coming up on location, like that's where I think a very huge dramatic change occurred for you, you know? Yeah. So college wise to have the big reveal here, you were really shooting for art center, right? Right, yeah. Uh, and I ironically happened to teach at Art Center um, years ago, so I kind of had a sense of what they wanted. But, you know, it was a while ago, and it's not like I was in admissions. So I kept making sure that you asked them the right questions as well so we can get really clear about what they were looking for, right? Yeah. So I think that sort of tag team between you and I really worked out um, in trying to get information out of them to help you get more and more accurate to what we should show, right? And, and then also laying out the portfolio as well, just getting it nice and neat and clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you really found us, you started finding a very natural space for yourself with this uh, ink drawing and watercolor, which was also something you did in high school, but now the drawing is much better. Yeah, I think, um, I think that was something I found through mentorship as well, just because I feel like, one thing that I had a problem with was being insecure about my art and not knowing where it stood. Mm -hmm. And I felt like through this, I was able to develop my own voice mm -hmm. and to also appreciate like what I might be more naturally strong at. So mm -hmm. when it came down to doing the portfolio, I was very comfortable with doing more work and pushing it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, these are a great testament to how good your eye is, you know, but now these are, after going through mentorship, you can see how much clearer your sense is of what you're looking at, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's cool. It's fun. This is lots of different quinons, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's fun. Good perspective. I love this piece. I mean, this feels like it's ready for you to start working you know it's a great illustration 
piece again with you know line art with loose watercolor really beautiful yeah and I think one of the other things we always try to encourage was um, you were very big on your culture, right? And trying to bring in like Asian influences uh, into the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I thought was really awesome. So we kept trying to push on that too. Do you remember in the mentorship, if there was any sort of huge epiphanies or moments where you were like, ah, this is, this is a new turning point or a certain piece? Um, I think there were a few times, but I think my biggest one was when I actually met you, because then that was when you were able to demonstrate in real life, like what I should be seeing, especially with perspective. I think that was like the turning point for my perspective work recently. Yeah, let's take a look at that really quick, and then we'll come back over here. So this is the sketchbook end of the uh, portfolio, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you um, you live in the South and I live in California in the San Francisco area. And mm -hmm. um, so you got to come out here. I think you had relatives out here, right? Yeah, my aunt. Your aunt. And then, um, so we got to meet here and draw on location, which was a lot of this kind of work, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really awesome. And I think this, this on location works what really started helping you uh, create a clearer voice on, you know, doing reportage or on location drawing and trying to figure out perspective, seeing more clearly, right? Yeah. Yeah, what I thought was really cool also was how you were able to apply your course teaching to a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. Like I always remember you talk about my trees. So mm -hmm. that ended up being something that I really enjoy drawing because I love drawing the course in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these trees are great. They got all that upward energy. And then we talked about abstract shape design and even geometric form, right? Mm -hmm. She got these trees, this place. And yet, you know, I love this. I love like this smaller study of the, uh, the bark of the tree with the tree next to it. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah we, we did this for months, right? Mm -hmm. I would say the vast majority of your mentorship was, was this, you know? Yeah. Right. And you did it, you know, you got to a place where the perspective is working, you know, things are connected. You can really feel uh, the grid, like everything's aligned and clicked in the way it should be. Right. Yeah. I think perspective was one of the things that I understood in theory, but I don't know if I ever, I guess, believed in myself to ever get to the point that, I was like I am today. Mm -hmm. They wanted some animal drawing, I guess, right? Yeah. This is fun because you have, you know, more realistic animals and then you have some that are pushed towards your design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's more uh, sketchbook work dealing with perspective. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was great when you came out here. I mean, um, obviously I was able to give you an opportunity. I wasn't, I'm not able to give every person I mentor, <laughs> right? Yeah. But um, what did we get to see? Um, was it Incredibles 2? Yeah, it was Incredibles 2. So we got to go to, um, to Pixar, right, on your trip out here. And... Uh, you know, got you a backstage, you know, like tour. We got to go to the galleries and got to go see the, got to see the film um, on the grounds. So uh, yeah, like I said, not like everyone in mentorship. <laughs> Don't get the wrong <laughs> idea and think, hey, part of mentorship is a trip to Pixar. Uh, it could be, who knows? If you're out in the Bay Area, I might be able to uh, arrange that. But um, yeah, that was really fun. It was fun to give you the opportunity to see um, a working studio, you know, a very well-known, obviously, working studio, and get to meet um, uh, some of my friends at work there and get to go see the film. Yeah, I how think that, that yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, how was that for you? Did that, did that do anything for you? Yeah, I think, um, have you watched Monsters University? Yeah. So you know the part where, like, everyone's kind of in disarray and they're not working together until Mike takes them to, like, the, the scare company for them to actually watch it right and then one gets inspired and then like everything just starts working mm -hmm. that's how it felt for me 
And it's just because like Pixar is one of my dream companies. So to actually be there and like see all the great artwork and see like the kind of products that people were making. And like that was like a really great part of my day. But honestly, just the whole day being with you was a really special day for me. Because yeah, it was it was really nice having like being able to meet you. Mm-hmm. And then it just showed me that you really go above and beyond. Like, I feel like when we do class, you always adapt really well and you always try to, like, do what we ask of. Mm-hmm. But I just felt like that day was one of the days that showed that you really care and you really, like, take your personal time seriously with your students. So you. it's one of the things I always remember. Yeah, thanks. Now, I was so excited. I love surprising people. <laughs> You know, and I remember I had uh, my wife and my daughter were waiting outside the Pixar gate and you were in the car with me and uh, all of a sudden they like get in the car, <laughs> right? And you're, you're like, who are these people? I'm like, oh, here's my, you know, here's my wife and my daughter. And, and then we were like pulling into the gate and you're like, oh my God, what are we doing? <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm like, oh, we're, we're going in. You're like, what? I can't believe we're going in here, you know? And then uh, not only that, but then to say, oh, and by the way, we're going for a, a you know a company screening of Incredibles too <laughs> while we're here. <laughs> yeah, it was just awesome. It was like surprise after surprise. And I, man, I love doing that. And people have done that for me in my life, and it just means a lot to me when that happens. Uh, so man, any chance I have to do that, I think is super exciting for me. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Super, yeah I'm not like a fan of surprises, but that changed my whole outlook on surprises. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Because like, I was surprised. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, I got that, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that was a great day. I had a good time. Uh, it was a good time. Not, you know, mentorship is mostly done online, but yeah, I, I think nothing beats having final like face to face. And like I said, I live in the Bay Area, and fortunately, I've had um some opportunities with your you and other people that i mentor to actually meet face to face i'll have people come to my house and draw here we'll draw models and go out and draw on location you know with you i didn't do that that day because i knew i wanted to go to pixar so we met in the east bay um but uh yeah it was great it was great meeting you Uh, it's nothing nothing's better than finally face to face in the end you know yeah i agree but that wouldn't have happened without the internet so i have to give online mentorship its credit and how far we can get you online um, where that was just one day of all the days over the, what about a year and a half or two years that we worked together, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So last but not least here in closing, I I'm saving kind of the end of this with your character work. And I know a lot of students want to get into um, the entertainment industry. So we worked on your concept portion of the website um, to uh to deal with um a particular uh, intellectual property that you were creating right we talked about story and the trick here is embedding all of that creativity into the uh the visuals right yeah so the the big surprise of course here is um you know your uh what i would consider one of uh the bigger successes in when it comes to getting into schools uh to obviously make a long story short here, you got accepted into Art Center, so congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, and you did an amazing job over the last uh, year and a half of mentorship and, um, you know, getting all of this uh, obviously put together. Um, and, you know, in the end, of course, I'm very aware of a couple of things. First of all, um, thank you for trusting me. Um, I'm very aware that uh, it takes trust on the student's part um, with the teacher to um, to allow them to teach that student, you know, so thank you for that. And, uh, and you know, I think uh, what I really love about you and about teaching you is you've always had this, uh, again, sense of honesty and humility, and yet the courage to keep trying out new things. And you did that across different mediums. You did that across different uh, skill sets. Um, you did that across intellectual property and trying to be more creative all the way down to um, more traditional uh, drawing skill. Um, you really proved out to be pretty, I think, courageous and strong uh, combined with, like I said, your sense of uh, humility to just like trying to learn and trying to see, you know? So, yeah, so thank you for all of that. 
Thank you for saying that. And I, I have to thank you too, because I feel this was definitely possible through mentorship. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I keep saying, oh, because of mentorship, but that, <laughs> that really is what it is. Mm-hmm. And again, it's just that I feel I was able to do all of this because like you were really open about it. And you were always like just open to new ideas and teaching me new things. And I just felt like there was a lot of great things to learn from you. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't have to just be forced. Right. It was just a lot of things that I can't even like summarize really because it was just so much throughout the years. So I really do appreciate for like appreciate you for all the time you gave me for this. Of course. Well, thank you for your time today. Um, hopefully this video will inspire somebody else, some other student out there that wants to get into an art school and, you know, go into a career in, uh, in art. Uh, the only thing I ask of you, of course, is stay in touch. I want to know, you know, what happens and what place you end up working at and how college goes and all of that. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thanks again, Quinan, for your time. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.